is strange. I hear music, but I don't see the player. Maybe he's out in the sukkah. Let's go take a look and see. Welcome to concert number 150, being held in our cozy little sukkah. <laughs> and this little baby here is my uh, keyboard, a gift of the, uh, from the Israeli government. There was a competition or some, something with like, like, like that for Olim Khadashim, for new, for new immigrants. And if you, uh, you have to audition, and if you get a certain grade, then they will give you uh, money toward buying an instrument, and I won. <laughs> how did you ever do that? I have no idea. It's amazing how much bribery, <laughs> how far bribery can get you. Okay, we'll go in, Chaya? Yep. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
sorry. We're okay? Okay, go okay. ahead. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Jerusalem, Israel, in a concert for an hour with music by Gershom Wachtel, which is me. Hi, everybody. Uh, I don't know what happened. In the middle of the song, um, it just died, and it's as if I had finished the whole thing. So I'm going to pick it up where I was, and hopefully you can hear it. So, my name is Gershon Wachtel, just in case no one knows. There were a couple of nights ago that someone wrote in, who is that guy? So, so this is one of my guitar outfits, and I hope you like it. <laughs> my wife is shaking her head thinking, she can't believe I'm talking like this. But I, my next thing I'm going to be wearing is Sunday night. A Sunday or a Sunday afternoon. When, when this program is over and my wife speaks to me, I'm going to get a good tongue lashing. Either this one, I got this in Paris. It's, it's a all multicolor. This is called taking a break for a minute. Uh, this is gray with black spots on it, I think. I think this is self explanatory. This is uh, yellow, and it has a uh, white sheep and black sheep, and, uh, and then of course the stripe. So we have stripe, yellow, blue, gray, or multicolored. And let's see, which, whichever one wins, that's the one I will wear Sunday night. Everybody here? Whoever's not here, raise your hand. Forgot the kiddush. <laughs> There's no wine. I couldn't make the kiddush. They're asking for it. Here. Where's the wine? <laughs> I was actually thinking of that yesterday was, was uh, I can't remember if I mentioned that yesterday was our 25th yeah. appearance. And I was going to say Alechayim to that. And I was afraid someone would say, ooh, alcohol. But, uh, <laughs> okay, can I just ask, are you seeing a beard colored in on Gershon? Because <laughs> something came up about find the face and it goes off and there's like this very colorful beard on you of sparkles. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of it. Uh, I played the piano as you guess and I gotta tell you something. I love to play the piano. I could play the piano 24 hours a day. I forgot to put the top of the piano up, so you can watch me do it. I'm gonna give, give you instructions how to put a piano together. You grab it with your right hand, you push it up. Ah! You take the stick and you put it in place, and that's how you put a piano together. And it's the most loose organization in the history of the world. But we did come up with a few names. Now, we're not going to have the final vote yet, because I want to give a little more time. Here are some of the names that came up with. And these are not mine. These are from our lovely friends who are listening right now. Gershon's Magical Musical Evenings. The second one is Gershonites. Next comes Gershon's Groupies. Next one is Piano Partners. Next is the Wachtel crowd. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> and the next one, I couldn't find the hand abbreviation. It was the SDWBT group. SDWBT group. And I can't find what they all stand for. They're, here, they're in my computer somewhere. So um, by tomorrow night, we're going to we'll have a name of our, of our organization. And, um, so we can call ourselves something. Everybody needs a name, right? What can you say when there aren't any words? That's what others have said. <laughs> this is what I'm about to play. Is the national anthem of the wonderful land of Gershon. You don't have to stand up for the national anthem. But um, this is it. Everybody be happy. 
matter what, there's a reason to be happy. Now, I need this little book here. It's called a sitter. Because <laughs> uh, it'll keep me on track to know which song to play next. There are no musical notes in here, but I know from the words what, what it's supposed to be. Moscow, please. <laughs> Okay. They're, they're even singing in Moscow with, along with your music. Oh, really? Oh, my. Oh, my. Look what I missed by sitting here at the panel. Right. If I had only had the camera, I could have had some enjoyment. <laughs> Happy birthday to Daphne. Let's see if, I remember, see if I remember how it goes. Okay. What's the first word? <laughs> I can give you the whole cast from the Flintstones. Oh, really? <laughs> There's Barney and William, Wilma and Fred and... Pebbles and Bam Bam. <laughs> oh my gosh, how did you know all this? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm proud of this. No wonder all, all the Gersha Knights have something in common. I can see <laughs> There's some others too. <laughs> okay, it seems like there's no comments are not working. There's nothing coming through. <laughs> so, well, hopefully they are. They're all. It says they're all watching, but but nobody's commenting on anything. Okay, we're not going to shut them off, but I'm just going to go look at the camera. Actually, I'll just tell you something very interesting. Chaya and I tried an experiment yesterday. I, I uh, put up a vid I put up a live broadcast, and she was the only recipient of it. And I waved my hand in front of the camera, and it took about 10 seconds for the hand waving in front of in her so now I realize that there's a big delay. So does anyone know the name of the song, Claire? We have a lot of creative people out there. And uh, first of all, well, before I go into that, I just want to say, part, you may remember, part of the uh, Gersh, Gershonite uh, Court of Honor is if someone wants to sit in your seat, you know, move over and let them sit in. And I think that uh, starting tomorrow night, we like the Omer, there may be more, a few more people than normal. So if someone wants to sit in the, also in the front row and it's, it's to squish you a little bit, uh, let, let, let them squid, uh, squeeze in. <laughs> the Gershonites, to another evening like the Omer. It's customary at like the Omer to have a bonfire. And we are going to have a bonfire. someone, oh, I play the da, 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 da. So if you can think in two or three words what my style is. I am the inventor of, I'd like to know what you come up with. And if you don't come up with anything, perfectly fine. Mimi was the first of many to say Copenhagen. Very good. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. <laughs> Very nice. I'm glad you know it. I uh, got a, a note for to me this, today from someone who lives in Toronto, who's probably listening right now, who was saying that, poor me, we're having snow today. <laughs> and uh, I need Mozart. And you know, I really believe that she needs Mozart. So because of that, I'm going to play Chopin. Now I'm going to play <laughs> Mozart. I found this. 
This is my very first piano book for my very first piano lesson. And it was the last week in November 1960, 1960. I had just turned 10 years old. And I look at the, what my teacher gave me, I got, always got an excellent, an excellent sticker. And I was hell bent every week I was going to get an excellent. If I didn't get an excellent, my week was ruined. And I got excellence throughout the whole, I remember when I was 10 years old, this is how it felt. And, um, and this is the A book. When I got into the B book, I got a very good once. And that was really disturbing to me. His name is uh, Beryl Mendeloff. <laughs> um, Beryl goes by a different name, though, uh, when he's on stage. Um, does anyone know what Beryl Mendeloff's stage name is? I won't say a word. You tell me. Meanwhile, I'll play some of the music that Beryl Mendeloff uh, is known to have sung. And he's sung, he has sung so many things that, that one night playing four or five of his songs isn't enough. And we're going to come back to it. Bert Bacharach. <clears throat> I almost met Bert Bacharach and played the piano for him. My story goes that I used to uh, spend a lot of time at the hotel putting to fill it on people, and I would spend about three hours in the afternoon up at the top in a community center playing the piano, and the sound went out in the street, and I had tourists from all over the world stopping in, some for five minutes, some for an hour, and it was very rewarding, it was very amazing. And uh, one day, uh, I go down to the Kotel area to start working, and one of the guys said to me, where have you been? I said, what's going on? Because Bert Backrack was here, and we wanted to get a hold of you so that you two could get together and go out there and play the piano with him. Chalk it up to another missed opportunity. Everything okay, Fred? Mm hmm. Just to speak a little louder. Yeah, <laughs> speak louder. <laughs> we had a request for that. I have a respect for that. A request. request. <laughs> Someday I will buy a microphone, and then you'll be saying, ah! That's so loud. <laughs> but in the meantime, I will speak louder and slower. What would you like me to say? <laughs> I've got nothing to say. So maybe I'll just continue. <laughs> what would happen if I were to not root back rap like me? Let's talk, talk honestly. It's just the, just the 900 of us. Is it more than 900, Kaya? Maybe not. It's getting there. Getting there. <laughs> We count up all the <laughs> no, days. We have zeros. <laughs> anyway, um, so if Bart Birdrack Backrack liked me, he would bring me up to, out to Hollywood. And I'd become a star, and I wouldn't be playing for you. So everything is for the best, isn't it? And I mean it. I'll tell you a little story. You may have noticed that I'm wearing a white jacket. You're a very observant crowd. You can see the smallest little change in me. You can tell it. <laughs> well, I had dreams of being like the pianist who played uh, in the nightclub in the movie, uh, where at this time goes by, uh, Castle, Castle Blanca. And I thought of myself as that kind of pianist. And I had a job for two years at the Waldo. Is everything okay? Yeah, just at the Waldorf, Waldorf Astoria. And um, the way you play music for people who are eating is like this. You can't throw yourself around the piano. And I thought that's who I was. And then one night, there was someone who came in, who came in very often and, and did like my music. And there was nobody in, the, nobody in the restaurant. I said, you know what? I'm going to let it go. I'm just going to play right out. And he came up to me and he said, you're a thief. And I said, what do you mean? We thought this, that other music is the only music you, music you can play. We didn't realize you played like this. Anyway, so uh, I think my dreams of being that pianist like in, the, in Casablanca are not here anymore. And I really, really prefer to play like this because this is the real me. Hello everybody, welcome! Is everything okay? I think so. I hope. 
Okay. So we welcome you to our program. Um, you know, if you get a new shirt or a new dress, I haven't had a long time since I got a new dress. But if you get a new item of clothing, you're so proud to show, share it off, uh, show it off. Well, you may have noticed the camera angle was different. You're holding the camera like this instead of like this. And if you put it on a TV screen, screen, you'll see that it fills the whole screen. We had a major improvement and spent half a day working at it today. So I hope you notice it. Okay, hi, did anyone vote for New York? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it shows don't jump the gun. Listen Nat, to the song. Nat. <laughs> <laughs> the whole day to do that for you guys. <laughs> you probably thought to yourself, no meter Shalai is playing New York, New York. Well, I didn't. <laughs> uh, uptown girl, she's always a woman. Did you know diamonds are a girl's best friend? Did you get that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Our camera girl is Chaya. She's not with us right now. She's uh, in the kitchen. She, uh, we have this thing. The first row in the theater gets spiked lemonade from Kaya. And uh, the next 10 rows after that, they get chocolate covered popcorn. And everybody to the 14th row tonight will be getting a piece of Kaya's own homemade cheesecake. Now, if you're in the 15th row, don't move up. We know where you are. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to say something to our camera girl. Could you go to the back of the theater and speak to the director of the theater operations and ask him if you could get somebody to open up a window just a little bit because it's kind of hot here in the theater. By the time Huachai has to go 40 rows and they climb two flights of stairs to find the people. How did you go back so quickly? You know, I have to tell you something. This is more than the 50th time that I've played for Menu. And there's been a feeling of trust instilled in me about you. That I can play anything or say almost anything and you'll accept it as something that comes from my heart. And the reason I played America the Beautiful, just to let you know that we're thinking of you over there. And it's pretty tough. I can, can't really imagine it, but I try. And the reason why I played Hatikva is you're all welcome to come here. We got plenty of room. And uh, people who are relaxed here, and we have 300 million people who want to kill all of us, God forbid. And uh, nobody gives a, gives a hoot about it. And we go, go about life, and life is, is um, it's wonderful here. Uh, and uh, you're all welcome to come. Don't wait till the last minute. I have a true story to tell you. Hey Jude came out in like 1967, 68. I went to university. I, I in and, uh, in uh, what should we call it? September 1968. And my roommate uh, in the dormitory had no idea. He knew the song Hey Jude. He thought it was a commentary. <laughs> And the Arab-Israeli conflict. Hey Jude, what can I say? <laughs> and the guy said, let me see your driver's license or a passport or something. I said, I don't have anything. It was okay, go inside. So I go inside and uh, I explain to the guy that I'm, right, I'm from the area, I'm from Western New York where I was going through. And I told him the high school I went to, I, you know, answered all his questions and he said to me say the Pledge of Allegiance now anybody who didn't grow up in the United States probably has absolutely no idea what a Pledge of Allegiance is but anyone who did probably knows it by heart and could say it in their sleep so uh, this is what I said I pledge allegiance to the flag of this is America too the one which is one nation on the this for me, different for all. Because okay, you can go. <laughs> I had scheduled a piano lesson 
with a jazz pianist that I had never met before, but he had a good reputation. And I, I might have told you about him. I had three lessons with him over 20 years, and he taught me a lot. And I had, I had the piano lesson scheduled with him, and I said, I can't go, I'm, I'm a wreck, I, I can't. But you know, maybe I need, maybe I can take my mind off the situation uh, by going for this piano lesson. So I knock on his door at the appointed time, and I went in, he asked me to please have a seat in the front room while he was also a vocal coach, and he was coaching some girl singing. And what was she singing? Love walked in. Now, I can't explain why, I, I mean, I knew I felt this way, but why it affected me so, it was as if the angels were singing. It was so beautiful that I couldn't stop crying. I was bawling in his, in his front room. It was, it was, it was totally heavenly. And um, he, he called me and I dried my tears and he said, how are you? And I started crying again. And he thought to himself, like, what did I say? But um, the point of me telling you the story was that I can understand how music can send someone to a completely far away place. I know when I play, where I go doesn't have a name. But I can understand that someone who listens to music and is in the right mood or is in the right need for music can be sent to the same place. I learned a lot from that, that uh, love walked in. Okay, time for question. Unforgettable, that's what you are. That's why, darling, it's, it's incredible that someone so unforgettable thinks that I am unforgettable too. Now, I really thought the national anthem of Brazil would be something like this. Because music is love, 
and it's beauty. You don't, don't want to be harsh in a beautiful thing.
fifth concert in a row. You know, I was thinking that even Johnny Carson took a night off here and there. And I do want to say something about 75 performances. You might think it's my game, and I'm responsible for everything, but it's not true. And I don't believe it. I don't feel it, and I don't believe it. We're all in this together. And we somehow, in the beginning it didn't seem so, but as time has gone by, I find that we have, to some degree, a cohesive group. And I know for a fact that there are people who are tremendously lonely, but for one hour a day, they're with all their friends. And not only do they, are they with all their friends, they don't have a history. They come in and they are whoever they want to be. And we accept them for whatever they want to be. And I think the group in general, including myself, I'm just a member of the group, I think is really fantastic. And everyone really uh, deserves to feel good about what we've been doing for the past three months. <laughs> Can't believe it. Now, I was thinking of inviting Barbara Streisand to actually come tonight to sing along with me. And I know she would have come, but airlines, there's no flights. What can we do? If, oh, if only. Now, I'm going to play a song that was requested minutes before I came into the concert hall. And uh, Ella, play something by Ella Fitzgerald. So I uh, directed this person to look on YouTube for Ella Fitzgerald singing Mac the Knife in Berlin. This was like, it must have been 1955 or something. It was a long time ago. And she, she set up saying, I want to sing a new song for you, and I hope I remember the words. And that was the curse of death for her, because she completely forgot the words. And she couldn't go blah, 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 blah. So she actually made up the words as she went. And it was actually brilliant the way she did it. So I'm going to, um, I may not remember the words. So I may not actually sing it. I may just play it. In this last one, someone asked for um, Cole Porter. And this is Begin to Begin by Paul, uh, Cole Porter. Not, it's not Paul Porter, it's Cole Porter. I do these things because I really want you to know I'm not perfect, and I'm showing that off. <laughs> and the name of that place was? Georgia. Georgia, very good. Now you may have heard a female voice. You have two choices. Either I'm a ventriloquist and I threw my voice over to there and disguised it as a female, or if you're new here, that's our camera girl, Kaya. If you need any... Uh, she pours uh, spiked lemonade for the people in the first three rows. So uh, that'll be coming later on in the morning, uh, in the afternoon, or night, where, wherever you are. I think I'll play. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, it became disconnected, but we are back. I guess next month I have to be careful to pay the electric bill on time. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Glad to have you here for our pre-Shabbat concert. I actually got ready early, and so uh, you may notice that uh, these are, uh, shall we say, my Shabbat clothes. And um, I thought you might want to see the other side of me. But that, this is only a costume. You know the real me if you listen closely to the music. Sorry about that. I know I should have paid the Bezek bill before I started. Okay. Are we running? Okay. Yeah. So I have uh, some requests for, I guess this is in the spirit of Shabbos, uh, a candle in the wind. But I must tell you, on Shabbat, don't put a candle in the wind. It's not recommended. Okay, well, while, while we're waiting. Now, you wouldn't ordinarily throw a challah. <laughs> and we have passed this challah around our Shabbat table many, many times, asking people to take some. And 
It's made out of styrofoam. How it was in a little gift shop in, in, in Auburn, New York, selling a fake kala. And the, the story behind this particular kala was that someone said, I actually ripped the piece off of it. So we can't use the Falecha Mishnah anymore. Okay, so you, so you notice that it has three little buttons here that each has a, little, a different a thing that it accomplishes, and it's on the, a special watch band. And take a good look at it. It's uh, made by a company called Lip in, um, in France, in Paris. So now that you've looked at the watch, you can, de you can think, how does this watch fit my personality? And frankly, someone at the, at the center, the Melibev Center, said exactly what my personality is according to this watch. So, see what you do with it. I would, I would only do this with my friends. Our camera crew uh, sent, was showing me a note, but I, I couldn't read it, so I, <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying to me. So this is very totally unprofessional. I'm going to go right off this, and we're going to look right at the note. <laughs> Would you please stop playing? <laughs> There's no joke like that. It goes like this. Uh, I, I, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you excuse me, I, I have a request. Please stop playing. I shouldn't tell jokes over the internet because I didn't get any feedback. But I hope that you will smile at this. When I hear the word Texas, it reminds me of this. I'll have to say it slowly and, and loudly so that we can hear it in our antiquated sound system. An Israeli farmer went to Texas to study, to study uh, I'm sorry, a Texas star farmer went to Israel to study Israeli farming techniques. And uh, the Israeli farmer was asked by the Texas farmer, how big is your property? And the Israeli said, well, oh, that line of trees over there, that road over there, and that house over there, and that field over there. And the Texas farmer said, ha ha, my property is so big, I could get in my truck and drive and drive and drive all day, and I still don't get to the end of my property. And the Israeli he says, I know, I used to have a truck like that too. Instead of blowing you away with a lot of fingers flying all over the place, I'd like to have the theme to be just easygoing, relaxing, so we go into Shabbat relaxed. <laughs> So um, on, our hundredth, on our hundredth performance, Mirza Hashem, on Sunday, we have a special treat for everybody. The entire production crew is going to come on the stage. On stage. Everybody, uh, you know, we're talking about the lighting guys, the equipment guys, the guys who haul the equipment. Everybody, and, and of course the camera girl. We're all, they're all going to come on the stage, you can meet them all, and uh, we're going to have L'chaim. So if you want to prepare a L'chaim for yourself, so when it comes time around, well, we start at 9, so it'll be around 9.30, we'll all make L'chaim together, and uh, thank everybody, including me and you and everybody, for making the last 100 uh, concerts so special. Maybe you want to just say who it is, because there's... <laughs> just in case! There is someone who doesn't know who Richard Starkey is. Let's all say those four syllables all together now. Ready? Ring, go. Oh, that's three syllables. Ring, go, star. Anyway, yes, happy birthday. Can you believe Ringo Starr is 80 years old today? Oh my gosh. Wow. Who would have ever thunk? You know, Chaim, we have to get that clock fixed. I can't believe it's 10 o'clock already. Uh, 
That's a fluke. <laughs> you know, it, is, it is a fluke. You're 100% correct. <laughs> I don't know if this is in the camera or not, if you could see it. Yeah, put it down.
needles go out or in. I got kind of comments that I have to be more professional. Well, why should I be professional with my family? But I have been on the 101, and I would like to ask anyone who's been on Highway 101 to please raise your hand. Okay, now I have another question for you. Anyone who raised your hand, would you please raise your hand again so I can <laughs> see if you will admit that you raised your hand? This is a bottle of Gamla Ashmura Ramad Golan Brut. I guess it's champagne. And it says it is uh, uh, bubbly wine, Yavesh Maud, very dry. So, um, why, do I, why am I showing you this bottle? I bought this bottle to celebrate our 100th concert. And then our camera girl, Chaya, and I both came to the conclusion we're only going to drink a couple drops out of it and it'll go to waste. So this is waiting for when we all get together again, well, for the first time anyway, we all get together and celebrate the fact that the, the, the uh, COVID is finished and we can start living the normal lives we used to live. Anyway, so we're saving this for a very special day. music by Debussy. Debussy for that month is my favorite composer. And when I practice music from uh, Beethoven, Beethoven is my favorite composer. But if I had to pick my general favorite composer, I would say the one who's had the most influence on me is uh, Rachmaninoff. And um, <clears throat> he had an amazing saying that he said. He said, music is enough for a lifetime, but a lifetime is not enough for music. There is so much beautiful music to play and listen to, more than a lifetime can fill. Does anyone have a fire extinguisher for the keys? So, Chaya has a, a number of smaller crews working under her. There's the cleanup crew, and the maintenance crew, and the refreshment crew. So I'm gonna ask Kaya if you could please call the maintenance crew and ask them to adjust the air conditioning so that it'd be a little cooler in here. You already called them. And you checked out of yourself to make sure they did it right. Okay, I feel a lot better now. Right now, or in one minute, I'm going to play a Disney song, Bob Disney. And I'll tell you the reason why I'm playing a Disney song now, is Boruch uh, Hashem, I'm very grateful for the people who like what I do. And um, I happen to have a new fan. Uh, and uh, we never let age interfere with allowing a person to be a dedicated fan. That's, it's, it's non, it has nothing to do with age. Well, this fan happens to be one year old. And uh, what happened was, her mom was watching uh, <clears throat> me on, a, on an iPad, I believe, I believe it was an iPad, and she put it down on the couch. And she, I guess she had to do something. And when she came back, she saw her one year old daughter picked herself up, was holding onto the couch, and was dancing to my music. So I now have a one-year-old fan, my youngest fan. I think her name is Meira. Meira, that's right, Meira, that's right. And uh, so this is for Meira. She may not know the song, but she knows that my heart goes, in, goes, goes out to you, Meira. I have a personal philosophy in life, and that is, life is very serious. But don't take it too seriously. So, this is all for you. This is for all you California folks out there. Uh, you may not even know my name. 
there's this guy who plays the piano and he comes in at 9 o'clock at night here or sometime in the morning in California. So I'll let you know who I am. My name is Gershom. I lost my laundry ticket. I can't. My name is Gershom Wachtel. W A C H T E L. And I've been playing the piano since I was 10. And I'm basically 70 now, so that's been 60 years I've been doing this and loving every minute of it. I love the piano from the first time I touched it and uh, never ever get tired of it. So I'm going to go off, off camera for a second and get something off the stage. Uh, we back backstage someplace and then come back. It'll take me a while to get all the way over there and come all the way back. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> I'm still here. You know, I learned how to play like that from my wonderful teacher, Aldo Zaccarelli. You know, it sounds like an Italian dish. Hey, I'll have a doc, can bring me an Aldo Zaccarelli and make it too. But, but uh, easy on the hot sauce. But her name is Aldo Zaccarelli. And let's, you know, can we bring the cake on? Are you able to carry it yourself? I think I need your help. Yeah, I can help. See if I can. <laughs> so, uh, at this point, it's customary to sing Happy Birthday. And um, we have a. Uh, um, we have hired a professional singer to come in, but he didn't make it. So you're going to hit me. There we go. So before we end, before I play the last numbers, I wanted to share something with you that you probably all know already. But uh, the Jerusalem Post did a feature of me and our magical extended family. And I will go off camera to grab it for you. So you, you go into Jerusalem Post, and uh, you Google it, go Jerusalem Post, Gershon Wachtel, and bingo, I come up. And it looks like this. I don't know if it's backwards. Can you see it now? Yeah. It says, uh, piano in a pandemic. You pronounce the word. Um, I was very impressed with the article. It said, it called me a Jerusalem pianist. That's pretty good for a kid from Buffalo. I'm quite impressed to be a Jewish, uh, Jerusalem pianist. And what also impresses me is I'm in the centerfold of, uh, this is uh, uh, the, magazine, the magazine, the Jerusalem Post magazine, August 14th. I am in the centerfold. Can you imagine that? Not the typical centerfold, uh, but uh, it's impressive that they do talk about the Gershonites and our little get, get togethers, and I'm, I'm uh, really happy to be part of it. Really, we all have our part. So, check it out this weekend. You can't whistle and laugh at the same time. So what I thought would be the best thing would be if I play just the beginning and the end. And um, I'm going to ask you if you can unmute your, your uh, phones so that I can hear your response at the end after I play the beginning and the end. So here we go. Here's the beginning and the end of Rhapsody in Blue. <laughs> so our camera girl has been giving me hand signals and she's going like this. Now either she's trying to catch raindrops or she's telling me I should use this 
book called a Siddur, which has halal in it, and placed only some halal. Yeah. You That's, got it. You really? I got it? Okay. And the singer would sing. <clears throat> sent it through email, and within seconds I got an answer from him. It's like, wow, this is really, I'm so honored. And I opened up the email and it said, you have the wrong Roger Williams, this is Roger Williams' car dealership in Texas. Well, I eventually did find Roger Williams, and I sent him a letter, and he wrote back and said, send me a self-addressed posted envelope, I'll send you a picture. I said, that's okay. There must be a siren around. If you're listening closely, we have a dog in our backyard. Every time there's a siren, he howls. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very famous uh, orchestra conductor, Arturo Toscanini, probably the greatest conductor of the 20th century, um, was basically quoted by one of his musicians in the orchestra as saying, what music does, music is an expression of a different reality that is happening right now. That we're locked into the reality we see. The music is its own language and it describes that other reality. And we don't have to necessarily we have to sort of live in this Allah has that. But we don't necessarily have to think that this is all there is. And it's just a thought that there is another reality, and that reality is so beautiful, like the music I just played. Not that I play so beautifully, but the music itself was so beautiful. It was just a comfort, and I thought I would share that with you. Well, I'll, I'll step in. <laughs> that was, I gave you everything I had. I got a title. Why don't you step in here? Um, cool off. <laughs> and um, I'm going to ask our trusting uh, camera girl if she can find a chauffeur someplace. And I'm just going to stick out my hand and the chauffeur will appear. Ha ah, ah, ha, look at that. I, I hope I'm not too obnoxious, but I'm in a very good mood today. <laughs> one time, one kind of cry is when you have a slow ache and you're like, oi, oi, oi. That's one cry. Don't laugh. The other kind of cry is when you bang your hammer, your thumb with a hanger, hammer, and you go, ay, 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 ay. Those are the two kind of cries. And those are the cries that we imitate with the shofar. Remember, I was a piano major, not a trumpet.
Thank you, Chai Rivka, who has been a faithful listener for way back when, before COVID started, and we used to have our concerts in our home every week. She was, until she moved out of Jerusalem, she was with us every Tuesday night. And I think that she has been on for 120 concerts. I don't remember one that she has missed. So we are very happy to have her as a dear friend. We got the AC fixed and you're cold. <laughs> no? Well, I know you all think that the AC got fixed. What is the name of the song that I'm playing? They know, Dream Dream. <laughs> we don't got no AC. <laughs> We're just still dreaming for it. We have lots of uh, beautiful music tonight. So, with that, with no further ado, I will begin. By the way, you probably hear our air conditioning broke, and we have to have all the windows open. And we uh, live in a part of town that has a lot of ambulances driving by. And when the ambulance drives by, there's a dog that barks and howls. I don't know if you can hear him, but... <laughs> We live with it, so if you if you want to hear a concert, you gotta you're gonna have to live with it tonight too. Background music. Everything? Background music. Background music to the background music. Serious. 
I should say, no, this is what I made up. No, this is what I read. This is the complete fiction that I'm making up on the spot. Sorry. Anyway, uh, um, if those who are sitting in the front row, um, there are a few empty seats. So turn around and wave to the people coming in from the back. Maybe they don't want to sit in the back. And, they would prefer to sit in the front row with you guys. And if they do come, please take your coat off of the chair so they can sit down on the chair. So I don't have to remind you to be nice to Chris. It's part of the, uh, the Care Should I Pledge to always be nice to new people coming in. I have a very good imagination, don't you think? <laughs> do you know what it's like to play the piano while balancing a keeper on your head? that is not staying where it's supposed to stay. Oh, is it? Okay, then you can stay down. <laughs> it's like, don't move. Um, I'd like to, before we begin, I'd like to introduce uh, the crew to you. Uh, there's me, I play the piano. My name is Gershon Wachtel, just in case you uh, don't know who, who I am. And uh, in charge of all the crews, I'm talking about the electricians, the, the people who type up the, the programs, ticket sales, uh, what else, Haya? Refreshments. Refreshments, spiking the lemonade. The wardrobe. The wardrobe, <laughs> you name it. The, 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 and it's all under the hand of one girl, Haya. So let's give Haya a big hand. Thank you. Okay. So uh, now. <laughs> Barbara Streisand is still here. <laughs> the uh, situation in the world is really, none of us has ever experienced this before. And I, I really believe that we have to accept the fact that it's going to be different. The way life was may not be back again. But we have to accept the fact that that's the way it is. And come and live with the hope that it's going to actually be better. It might be, it might take a while for it to turn around, but things might be better than than they were before, and that's our, that's our only hope. <clears throat> Many of you are, I noticed, uh, are sitting in the same seats as last night. Um, I suspect a couple people didn't go home. <laughs> Beautiful air conditioning here in the theater, so. Uh, so, uh, hopefully we'll have many new guests tonight. Uh, tonight is a, is a tribute to... Uh, Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett. <laughs> I can play the piano, but I can't do much more. <laughs> Dancing 
cheek to cheek.
the one who's blowing has a problem. You can always count on me to jump in. So um, that's indeed what happened. The first person was struggling a little bit. So the rabbi pointed to me and said, OK, go ahead. Well, I had no time to note for any mental preparation whatsoever. And I will confess to you that sometimes a little bit, I'm a little bit of a dreamer and I did daydream a little bit. Okay, not a little bit, a lot. Okay. <laughs> and um, so I took the shofar and I blew the first few notes very well. I put the shofar down and started dominating again. Started praying again. I was supposed to play a whole bunch more, but I sort of like, I thought, well, that was it. And the rabbi goes like, no, continue, continue. So it's just typical of my life. But then something really good happened. Our camera girl volunteered to make uh, all the food for, for the Yantov. Well, since she lives here, it's probably nice for her to do that. And uh, she made, and I'm telling you, probably the best pea soup you, have ever, you could have ever tasted in your life. Thank you. So much so that I told her, when we have our big reunion and we, everyone comes to, to our apartment, I want her to make a big pot and everybody can have a ladle of Chaya's pea soup. Very good, Chaya. You did a great job. Thank you. bug on the floor. <laughs> well, it wasn't just a little bug, it was a gigantic, what's it called, a, a cockroach, about this big. And if you listen to last night's performance, you'll hear... <laughs> whap! Whap! <laughs> <laughs> I played it totally cool, and looked down, and yeah, <laughs> there it is. And uh, I give credit, I, a lot of credit, because it walk, basically waltzed waltz right over her foot, practically, <laughs> and she didn't utter a sound. So, way to go, Chaya. Thanks. Um, I want to know where it came from. That's the big question. Well, we do know where it went. Yeah. <laughs> Cockroach heaven. <laughs> a great thank you I have from so many people. Somehow the secret got out that today is my, uh, what they call, English birthday. Um, Thanks to Facebook. My, it's my Facebook birthday. <laughs> and um, the, see, the Facebook just let that secret out. And um, we've got so many beautiful notes that were sent to us by Facebook and, uh, and, and otherwise. And um, I'm very touched by it. Very, very touched. And uh, I want to thank each and every person who took this, uh, the time to write something, or even just to say happy birthday, or HB, or whatever they wanted to do. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, in addition, uh, one year tonight actually sent some flowers. And uh, I don't like using people's names because they don't have the permission. Um, but this particular year tonight, I'm not going to say if it's a male or female, he or she, was so kind to send this. I need to share with this Gersh tonight that <laughs> how much I really, really, really appreciate it. I, I mean, I really, really appreciate it.
exhausted. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a wreck right now. <laughs>